Hey everyone, this is the next video in the series about unit testing in Java. So first video we have talked about the introduction. What is this Jupyter API JUnit 5 all about? This video we are going to talk about the environment setup and we will write a first unit test in JUnit 5. Alright, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. So I am using IntelliJ IDEA uh, for the demo purpose. So this is the thing that I am going to start from scratch. So you can, uh, you can do the coding along with me. Uh, that will be very good and very nice for practice and you will learn quickly this one, right? So I'm using IntelliJ IDEA. So let's go ahead and create the new project for us Right, so this is the so as explained in the previous video I am taking the calculator as a source code uh, so that for simplicity Right, so that we can understand the source code and focus on the testing part itself, right? So we are there are many build tools if you're working in a company in enterprise so without build tool you cannot uh, do anything right so you're not going to scrap uh, write java files and compile those uh, from the command line right we're going to use some build tools so i'm going to do the same thing here we have two options maven as well as gradle also right i'm cho choosing gradle so this is relatively new in the market but it's very efficient and it has uh, many uh, advantages over maven we'll go ahead and check out the advantages and if you're not using gradle start using this you will see the magic around this right and simplicity to use this so i'm using gradle so picking the next one so group id com dot green learner i'm naming it and artifact id what i want here calculator calculator version i'm keeping it as it is and calculator so this is the location so i'm okay with the location if you want to change this you can change this in your uh, in your project right so in your system so i'm everything looks fine to me so i'm going ahead creating this so this is the project in intelligence idea that i have created just so close so let uh, let the it is starting it is setting up the project for me right so it, it will create the basic setup gradle is going to create the basic project structure for me right so it is fine now it is two processes are still running so if i come to project here so calculator it has created for me and it has also created the format for me right so if i open this calculator so it has created the basic project structure for us so structure goes like this src main inside this source code will be there in business logic that is there and test we will write the test cases for those business logic that is there in java so there is separation uh, right separate directory for source code business logic and test as well right and coming to build.gradle here it has created uh, it has applied the plugins it has group it has source compatibility due to this plugin id i get a lot of tasks that is uh, needed for uh, the our application that is build other uh, verification and documentation right so this is the result this these tasks are result of this id right and apart from this it has added the repository and dependency also for now it has added this 4.12 for us right so but i do not want this 4.1 so i can comment this out right and next i am enable the auto import section so if i come to external dependencies only java is here right so no other dependency is here so let me go ahead and create some source code right so for which we can write the test i have i want to move it to some package so i have named it package and i want to so this is the magic of the id that you are using right so you can do not have to create the package it has quickly created for me and it is inside this now right so this is the demo class around this i'm going to write few methods so that we can write the test for that right so these are the few methods that uh, i have written so how to protect from corona so at the time of recording of this video the world is going through under high pressure due to coronavirus right so i have written uh, two methods around this how to protect from corona stay home stay safe social distancing as of now social distancing is the only way to prevent yourself to protect yourself from corona and second is currently infected people how you can get this so it is taking a current number the added number and it had some previous number it is going to return the addition of those two right so that we can get the current number infected by coronavirus right so this is uh, we are going to write the test uh, for these two so if you are using IntelliJ IDEA, the easiest method to add test is to click on this. You will get this yellow button. Click on this. 
you will see different options create test for this right and it will show you different options right JUnit 3 4 I want to write the test for JUnit 5 so go for it so currently doesn't currently doesn't have any library so I can fix this so it is the configuration of IntelliJ IDEA where it is going to look for this dependency from the internet as well from the internet so it is uh, trying to search for that when it will found that and the next option you will see this uh, download to if you check this option by default it is, it is unchecked uh, you get this you select it download to this folder so it is going to download all of these dependencies under this right so you have option you can either select it or not if you not select it it is going to put this in under under some temp directory right so it has found all these files so i am going to select ok here right so it has added this lib file right so here are the methods from the class the demo class that is there so there are two methods i am going to write the test for uh, both of these right so it is going to create the structure for me test structure demo test class it has created for me where it has created it has created under test java and the same project structure uh, that goes for the source code right so this is the test now I have to write the test right so what it is returning it is returning this string right so I have to test this string expected so while writing test you have two things you need to look for the two things string expected what you want that thing to return and what is the actual uh, thing that it is returning so actual how will you get this so you have to create the uh, you have to create the object of that class right new demo and call that respective method right so how to protect from corona right so this method i want to test of the demo class and it is the actual string that i have got right so how to compare all of this so there are assertions libraries that we can use of uh, make use of that no assert equals i want so these are the things first argument it takes expected and second it is taking the actual one right so that's it we are done here so if i expand it so it is uh, there are certain libraries a certain uh, it is it is under jupyter api right so this is how we can compare if both of these are equal it is going to pass the test otherwise it will fail right so main thing to notice here at the rate test annotation it is coming from jupyter api right so this is going to make it as a test and IntelliJ IDEA will detect it as a test and execute it, uh, it the way it is executing the tests right when you have added this at the rate test annotation it is going to detect that and will uh, put the green mark here so from where you can directly run this test right? so if I run this one I will get the result right so test is passing right green means test is test are first passing right so let me introduce the error here so where it is not uh, passing right so what error message it is giving in that case right assertion failed error right so what it is expecting this one it is expecting but actually it is returning this one right so expected and actual these are the two things that you look for and if there is any problem it is going to throw an error with proper error message otherwise if you want any custom message you can pass that also right so uh, both are not equal you can pass your own message as well right so when you test this passing when you test the passing the message is not going to get printed because there is no need because both are equal but when they are failing this this message is going to get printed in the console right so we will see this assertion fail we got the message both are not equal what expected and actual this is how you can uh, test this string and when your method is not written in any, anything right in the same way we can write this also right we can write the test for this correctly infected peoples which is taking some argument and returning something right so uh, what is this so i have to create the demo object again for this class new demo and int actual number is this demo dot currently infected people i want to add 100 people 
right so what it will return me i want to compare that so and uh, and the expected number is so uh, i have to know this thing i have to know that previously it is has 13000 right so uh, i have to 13 100 right so this is the actual number expected number that I, I want right and now i can pass assert equals expected i can pass it here and then actual i can compare it right and if i run this accordingly it will fail or pass whether it is okay or not so it is passing because uh, expected and actual are same this is how you can write the test this is the very simple very very simple use cases uh, in the first one it is not taking any argument so as it is it, it is returning this in this one it is uh, taking an argument and processing that and returning the thing accordingly right so we have tested that one right here so this is the one way that you can write your test right uh, by adding the library at this place but in enterprise project in companies that you're working on this is not the way that you should do you have this build.gradle right so you should add the dependency here right so i'm the next thing i'm going to show you to add the library this is about adding the libraries the way that you write the test is same that i have shown you right so if i remove this one it is going to throw compilation exception and that is 100% uh, expected i have to add the dependency here right so how to get the dependency here so this is the official documentation of uh, JUnit 5 so if you come down here so you will see different thing gradle and java check out this one maven you want to use you check out this one i have i am using gradle so i am going to check this out so this is the sample project that they have given and i am interested in build.gradle only so this is the dependency that i want if I add this, so it is going to download the all the dependencies that is needed to write the JUnit 5 tests. It is importing the dependency for me. In all the dependencies, we will be able to see here external libraries. All right. So it has downloaded all the dependencies for us that is needed. Right. So there are some transitive dependencies as well. JUnit Jupyter API we can see. API, JUnit Jupyter API we can see. Engine we can see open test we can see right so all of this it has downloaded for us right so now the compile time exception is gone from here so this is how you can write the tests for us this is how you can write the test for your api so how you can run the individually how you can run the test individually and as well as at class level you can run the test so if you run it from the test all the tests that are uh, there in that class is going to be executed and the result will be published so one is passing one is failing right so this is how so if i remove this it is going to pass this is how you can run you can add the simple test so from the next video i am going to add some source code about the calculator by adding add subtract multiply division and so that we can focus on the writing test test feature we are going to see one by one right so so this is all about the uh, adding simple test and how you can add library so from the next video i'm going to explain the each and every feature about the calculator and all the apis so all the link of the previous and next video complete playlist and the source code link which i'm going to push on the github are given in the description box go ahead and check out it i'll see you in the next video right take care bye bye